online and on your smart speaker. Toowoomba WellCamp Airport. Flights to Sydney, Melbourne, Townsville, Cairns and Western Queensland. Head to wellcamp.com.au. Hit News Briefing. Hello, it's Rosie O'Brien with your local news briefing. Frontline Queensland health nurses and midwives will today meet outside the Toowoomba Hospital to demand fair pay from the state government. The QNM union says staff are overworked and mentally and physically exhausted after years of the pandemic and increased presentations. 29 extra police officers have been deployed to the Darling Downs to address youth crime. Four of the positions have been allocated to the Gundawindi station, while two will bolster the Toowoomba Domestic Violence Unit. Minister for Police Mark Ryan says boosting officers on the front line is the best way to combat repeat offenders. There is a relatively small cohort of young people who are serious recidivist offenders here in Toowoomba. The challenge we've got, though, is those 18 young people are committing significant levels of crime. Toowoomba Council will look at alternative route options for mountain biking along the escarpment rather than progressing with plans to build trails in Redwood Park. Councillor Tim McMahon says Council took into account feedback from the Environmental Constraints and Opportunities Assessment, which outlined the diverse and significant vegetation, protected wildlife and cultural heritage Redwood Park holds. If approved at Council's ordinary meeting next week, the next step will be to progress the detailed design phase of mountain bike trails in Jubilee Park. While the stigma is slowly being broken down around postnatal depression in mothers, we're being told there's a surge in men seeking support during and after pregnancy as well. Perinatal Anxiety and Depression Australia is using Men's Health Week to shine a light on the issue. The data would indicate that about one in ten dads experience either anxiety and or depression that's CEO Julie Borninkoff there. <laughs> to local sport and in the FQPL, our South West Queensland Thunder men's side are gearing up to face the Rochdale Rovers this Saturday. Whenever you're working near power lines, plan ahead, use a spotter and look up and live. For more power lines, Day ahead into Womba with a top of 19 degrees, dropping down to 5 overnight before the sunshine returns tomorrow with a top of 17. The weekend's looking pretty good too. And our listener app is the home of local news. Download to listen now.